it's always kind of an awkward time. It's always kind of an uneasy time for some of you who are feeling conviction, not by me, but just by your word of God, by the Spirit. Some of you are listening, you know that God is telling you to do something that you don't want to do. It's always an awkward time. And so at the invitation, there's seldom other times where the altar is full. And I'm not saying this without a bond or anything. Yeah, I'm just being straightforward with you. But I need to let you know what the invitation time is all about. It is the climax of the time when we're coming to God to worship God. It is at that point the Spirit is dealing with you because of the Word of God is being preached, which is what we're supposed to be doing. The Word of God is being preached, and thus, at the time of response, the invitation is given. And as long as I'm following God, as long as I'm your pastor here. There will be an invitation time. A time of prayer. Because this is not the opportunity for pastor to take note of how many came to the altar and brag to other pastors about you did this and did that. It has nothing to do with that. I don't do that anymore. This is the climax point where the Spirit is speaking to you and you have an opportunity to kneel down before God to pray and then enjoy yourself with other brothers and sisters in prayer that you will get a breakthrough, that you will get victory, that you'll grow closer to God, that you get revelation, direction, whatever. And that you'll leave this place differently than when you came. Yes. Amen. So it's not an utter failure to me as a pastor if no one responds. Don't think that for a second. Because I've just done my part. I've studied to show myself approved. I knew what God wanted me to preach this morning. And this is your opportunity to receive what God, to respond to what God is saying. That is what it is. So what is your response? How will you respond to God? And not the pastor. You're not responding to me. I just told you all ago. As a man, you don't need to come to a man for forgiveness. I'm imperfect. We need to go to God. Amen. But it's obviously important to God because He designed the church. He designed how the church should operate. So, what is your response to that? As the praise team prepares itself to play, it just provides an atmosphere of all it is. An atmosphere of prayer that you can enter into the King's chambers. You won't be alone. You all have all this together. Amen. Anyone need prayer?